Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at some new Benchmade knives. We got the window inlays. Benchmade's gonna give you the precision machining. Meets the kind of custom craftsmanship. <laughs> this little jewel is like, I need to get a bolo tie. <laughs> What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ we're looking at some new Benchmade knives. What are we doing, Zach? We are talking to Hans from Benchmade. Welcome. And he's gonna tell us about these new knives you got coming out. Yeah, I've got the uh, 756 Cybert Micro Pocket Rocket. Mm. And the 486 Nakamura Saibu. We're so. stoked about these. When, oh yeah. First of all, the people wanna know when do these come out? These are gonna be out and available at Blade Show. I want one! Tell us about the Nakamura. Let's start there, shall we? Do yeah. You, do you want the custom? Yes. So I did bring cool. this along. Um, this is pretty special. You know, we get submissions from a lot of the designers we work with to develop a prototype. This is kind of his original, and I brought it because there's some fun details that you can compare with then the Benchmade version. So, yeah. Side by Maybe side. do a side-by-side mm -hmm. side so oh, you can yeah. see the original inspiration. Obviously, you know, we're doing a full flat grind on 20 CV. I want that. He's got, you know, a fully hand convex grind, zero edge craziness. You got the window inlays. Those are actually um, inspired by a walk around his neighborhood. Um, some lattice work he saw and he wanted nice. to do a, a knife. And then you look at the spine of these guys. His obviously like hand filed uh, bamboo shoot uh, style and this kind of a more machined part. You know, again, making it a bench made. Yeah. Um, but really sharing a lot of cool details. He's off, he's got a little more bling going on on the clip side. Yeah, the clip side, this is actually something I was stoked on. <laughs> this little jewel, I was like, I need to get a bolo tie. <laughs> I'm gonna rock this. See, I was not stoked on the jewel until yeah. Hans told me that you can, it's actually a screw. And yeah. You can adjust, adjust the tension adjust. of yeah. the pocket clip. Which is yeah. so cool. He puts yeah. a lot of thought in Hans, can we get some of this pocket tension adjustment stuff on Benchmade knives? Oh, it, make that's... it so for us. <laughs> make it so? Okay, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'm a, currently, of course, a big fan of the mini deep carry. Yeah. So you get the satin mini deep carry clip on this one. Love it. So. What what uh, kind of wood is the inlay? Is is it a? It's a stabilized wood, similar okay. to what we use on handles on our hunt series. Cool. Um, but this one's got a kind of a red tint. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Kind of feels that. like coca bolo. It's coca bolo. It does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does feel it's that a coca bolo way. look. Is the idea. Cool. But yeah, really cool. Added the same stuff into the inlays on the thumb stud. Which too, I think so. is pretty fantastic. That was one thing I saw when I picked it up. I'm like, wow. You, you really hit the thumb studs hard. I yeah. like it. I really like these guys. You got the uh, Benchmade Axis Lock, really nice, comfortable carry. Love and it. What's gonna be roughly, what's the MSRP on that? So right now, targeted at 250, 250. MSRP. Cool. Right on. Yep. cool. Great. And it's just that one skew, so. Just yeah. the one. So yeah. you've got two new knives coming out at Blade Show. What's the other one? Let's dive into that one. So Shane Seibert, we've worked with him for years on quite a few, typically much, much larger knives than this. So uh, this is uh, kind of a little big knife version of one of his. This is the Ultra Micro Pocket Rocket is what he calls it. We call it the Micro Pocket Rocket. Um, really cool little flipper. So you've got monolock there, um, nice little flipper tab, pop it open, cool fuller on the blade. You know, Cybert loves to do this jimping on the back of the spine. We did some really nice PVD, this blue PVD details on the uh, hardware, the thumb stud, or not the thumb stud, the uh, clip, barrel spacers, all kinds of cool stuff. Just a fun little knife. Actually surprisingly fun and comfortable to use. Really short little blade, but... What's, do you know blade length off, offhand there? Probably. Oh my gosh. I don't know, sir. Of course you don't know. You don't know because only I know. Probably an inch and a quarter, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tiny. Very small. So yeah. Hans, let me ask you this. When you, so you, before before you turned the, on the camera, you said you've been working on these knives for about two years. Oh yeah. So how does that process happen? Do you go to Shane Seibert and say, hey, we want to make this knife, or does he come to you? What's the process? How does that look at Benjamin? Well, it's different with each custom maker. Um, Shane's a unique case because he just lives five minutes away from okay. Benjamin. So we can, he comes down to the office. Surprise! Um, this one in particular um, really was from a, a USN show a couple of years ago where he made a bundle of these and they just flew off the table before the show started. Cool. And so, and then every year he just can't make enough of these. Uh, they're just so popular. But right after that show, I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta do this with Benchmade. We gotta have some fun nice. with this. Like, nice. nobody will see that coming, a tiny knife from Shane Seibert. So, yeah. um, so that was kind of the inspiration there. Um, you know, he's a really humble guy. 
so he doesn't talk a lot about what he does, but everything that he does in his knives is hand done on nice. just a couple machines, and the crisp edges and finishes that he does, it's it's miraculous he's able, able to kind of pull them off on his knives. So we try to recreate some of that in, of course, the custom collaboration versions with Benchmade, but... This is, I mentioned this off camera too, you're kind of taking some of these EDC knives in a, in a different direction than Benchmade's been before, visually. Um, just your reasoning behind that, or is that a company initiative, or is that you? Uh, is that... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to dive deep uh, into a couple categories here in particular, into kind of the enthusiasts and everyday carry, um, giving them some cool details. Yeah. The, the thing that's the most fun for me about the Benchmade recipe is there's Benchmade design and aesthetic, which is, is clean, it's got a distinct look, it's fun to work with, we can do all types of knives, but this custom collaboration side that's been there since the beginning yeah. with Les, um, allows us to do stuff that we would never really do as a Benchmade, but we can still make it a Benchmade. So, uh, you know, that's why I like to bring these to show, to compare, like a custom maker's knife versus the Benchmade version. Benchmade's gonna give you the precision machining, meets the kind of custom craftsmanship. So you get to see some cool Love details, um, you get the same silhouettes, but you get some special Benchmade sauce in there too. It's good. Love it. It's fun. Love it. I, I'm allowed a lot of leeway there with custom makers to kind of mix it up. And <laughs> see some more fun One stuff. One thing I know is don't give Hans leeway. Yeah, don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, Hans, thank you for bringing these in. This is awesome to see these. So these are gonna be dropping at Blade HQ. Probably, if they're not available now, they'll be available here in the next couple days. Blade HQ is the place to buy them. We'll have a few more videos coming out with Hans. It'll be good. We'll have some fun. So yeah. Thank yeah. you, Hans. Absolutely. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and let us know in the comments which one of these you wanna take home and add to your collection. We'll have another video coming out for you next week. I was just thinking that. Oh, we can find a way to make it 30 minutes. Can we, can we call that out? Coming to you with the least amount of knives ever knives. on Knife Banter. That is true. Two. Well, there's five on the yeah, table. Yeah, there's technically five on the table. Oh, yeah. That's not, is that the least? Well, I did do the bug out with uh, Austin. That was one. That was one.